What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw three more different kinds of hats. Now not too long ago I put out a video talking about how to draw three kinds of hats and in that video I said I'd show you how to draw three different kinds of hats in this video because of course I didn't want to make that video too long showing you how to draw a million different kinds of hats. So I just decided to do like three hats per video to keep it at a good length. So the hats that we're going to draw in this video, we're going to draw a captain's hat, a graduation cap, and a beret. So without nothing else to say, let's go. Okay, so the way to draw a captain's hat is we're actually going to start a little bit above the ear, like right about here is a good spot. And then we're going to make a line that goes around the head and connects with the other side, kind of like this and it leaves sort of a space up here. And now from right about here, we're gonna make a line that goes this way. And then from this, and from here where this line kinda angles, we're actually gonna make it curve. So it goes off the head, like so. And then we're going to connect this point to this point. Well, I know it's a little off, but you get the idea. Just connect those two points. Okay, and now we're going to construct the rest of the hat. So these two points on the line that we drew at first, we're going to make two lines, two small lines that go up. And then we're going to draw that same line from the beginning. And now comes the main part of a captain's hat. So we got our center line here that I drew for this face. So we're actually going to come off of that and make sort of a sloping shape. Then we're going to connect it back to this point here. Same thing on that side, but not exactly, but just do what I do. And then I'm gonna add like a little string because I know there's a, a sort of a string on the captain's hat. So I'm just gonna draw a line to help simulate that. I don't want to go too into detail with that. And then I'm going to draw a little circle up here to show like a, a logo or a seal, whatever it is that's up here. And now the captain's hat is looking pretty small. So that's why I'm going to change this shape to be a little bit larger in size. So I'm going to keep this line how it is back here. And then I'm going to extend this big curved shape. So that it still connects back to this point. Alright, and that's how you draw a captain's hat. Now let's move on. Okay, the next kind of hat that we're going to draw is a graduation cap. Now this one's pretty easy, but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this part of the head, we're going to start here, and we're going to kind of make an arc that goes to the center line. And that's going to be the little fabric that kind of sticks to your head. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so you can erase that other line. Okay, and now we're going to make a quadrilateral, a shape with four sides. 
So it can be a square, rhombus, diamond, however you want to do it. You can have it angled like a, so it look like a diamond from our perspective, or you can have it, or you can have it looking exactly like a square. But the way I'm doing it is I'm making it look like a, a rhombus. But the way I'm doing it, I'm making it look like a diamond or a rhombus. So that's way I'm, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make sure all my lines are parallel. So like I gotta make sure these two lines, this one and this one, make sure those are parallel. And make sure this line and this line are parallel. Okay, now we need to map out the center, which I want to assume is right around here. Okay, now we can extend that arc out too, so that's that. Okay, and now we can draw the tassel that hangs from here. So I'm going to draw like a little string that kind of falls off of the hat. So we're going to make like a waterfall line. The reason I call it a waterfall line is that when you're on the um, graduation cap, you draw a string and then it makes like a little curve that looks like water on a waterfall. That's why I call it that. And then I'm gonna draw like a little knot and a tassel that hangs. I'm not gonna go too in depth about the tassel, but I wanna say it looks sort of like a broom, the way I'm drawing it. And something else that you can do is you can have the date charm kind of being on the tassel somewhere, but that means you'll have to draw really, really small. But for now, I'm gonna leave that out and just draw the tassel in. And the same thing goes for adding detail to the tassel that hangs from here. So I'm gonna draw that line in again. And also, if you want to decorate your graduation cap that we just finished drawing, you can do that as well. But again, I'm going to leave it like that for now. So, now that that's done, let's get to inking. Alright, and that's how you draw a graduation cap. Let's move on to the next one. And I also forgot to show you that the captain's hat, I inked it, but I did it off camera, so that's what that looks like. But anyways, now I'm going to transition to this head and show you how to draw a beret. Now a beret is pretty basic, it kind of looks like a bag that hangs onto your head. Kind of like one of those pans you buy at the grocery store. You just sizzle it on the oven and then the popcorn just builds up inside of that bag on that pan. If you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll just throw a picture up on the screen. But that's what I imagine a beret looking like. So the way to draw one is to go up on the head like so. And then I like to make a big sort of circle shape coming from the other side of the head. Okay, and then off of this line, I'm gonna make like a little curve. And then I'm gonna provide the same shape for the rest of the head, but instead it's gonna come back down here. And it's gonna be not as big as this one. It's gonna be a little bit shorter. Okay. And then I'm not sure if berets really have some elastic, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna emphasize this line right here and provide some elastic. Make that a little bit thick and color it in. And then like this little stem, I wanna say, on the beret that I see a lot. I just don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna call it a stem. And there you go. That's how you draw a beret. Yeah. All right, and here's all three hats that I covered in today's video. Just a reminder that this is a captain's hat. 
a graduation cap, and a beret. And don't forget to check out my first How to Draw Hats video where I show you how to draw three different kinds of hats. But if you like this video, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.